is red light therapy safe for skin of color? We've all seen red light masks take over social media, touting benefits such as stimulating collagen, diminishing fine lines, and improving skin texture. But the question is, is it safe for skin of color? I trialed it and the results shocked me. I've been sitting on the fence for a while because to be honest, clinical data for skin of color has been limited and I really didn't want to comment until I felt confident. So why would results be different for skin of color compared to Caucasian skin? Well, the bottom line is skin of color have larger melanocytes. Those are cells that produce the pigment melanin. They are easier to trigger. As I always say, one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. This means that we have to be much more careful with our skin than Caucasian skin has to be. Now, the way red light therapy works, or more accurately, photobiomodulation, is that red light will penetrate through the skin and will start a chain reaction in the mitochondria. This produces ATP plus nitric oxide. This leads to collagen production and healthy blood flow circulation. So the benefits are, number one, faster wound healing, for example, post-surgery. The second benefit is reduced signs of aging and wrinkles. So even though all skin cells will improve with red light therapy, it's the cells that are most depleted that will benefit the most. So, so far, so good, right? Well, clinical results show that red light therapy is not as effective as products that we put on top of the skin, but they can work well in conjunction. Now, when it comes to blue light therapy, which is used more for acne, I'm more on the fence because blue light is very close to UV light. And we tell you to avoid that when it comes to melasma. So I looked at a peer reviewed journal, which was one of the few which had two randomized controlled trials with 55 candidates with skin of color. So the results showed that darker skin is more photosensitive, which we already know and appreciate. And the results of using red light therapy is different based on race and ethnicity. So the results up until this point actually look very promising. And I myself have melasma, but I also have fine lines that I'd like to get rid of. So I looked a little bit more into the mechanism of action. As we age, mitochondria are damaged by oxidative stress that can be caused by any form of inflammation. This can happen from emotional stress, from inflammation, from any form of disease, and this then damages the function of the mitochondria. During red light therapy, chromophores in the mitochondria absorb the red light therapy, produce the ATP, which then gives you the energy needed for the skin to heal. Think of ATP like a power unit. It's basically adenine triphosphate, three phosphates. And when the phosphate is hydrolyzed, energy is produced. That energy is needed for all functions of the skin, including communicating to the fibroblast to produce more collagen. So I'd been convinced up until this point. And so then I started to look at different devices. Now there are lots of scams on the market. There are lots of devices that the power output is just too low to give you any benefit whatsoever. So the key number to look for is 30 to 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared. If you're buying from the US, make sure you have 510K clearance because this means that it's been approved by the FDA. As you know, this is a non-sponsored channel. So when I did my research, I was looking for products that were in the therapeutic index and were also quite affordable or at least reasonable. So the first one I looked at was actually this one. This was the current body is 290 99 pounds with 132 bulbs. I'd say it's actually quite comfortable to wear and it gives you a 10 minute timer. The second device was the Omnilux contour face, again with 132 bulbs, but it cost 350 pounds, so 50 pounds extra. And the third one was the Star Pro Radiant Eyes, which was really just for the eye area specifically. And this one was 38 pounds, but it was closest to the eye and slightly away from your melasma. Now moving on to my personal experience. So I bought the device. I used it four days a week as directed. And I would actually say every time I took it off, my skin felt rejuvenated. The problem is that my melasma looked worse every time. And actually, if you think about the science of red light therapy, this makes sense. There's a reason we tell you that if you're cooking in the kitchen, your melasma is going to look worse. Any form of heat or energy hitting the skin can activate the melanocytes, especially if you're already prone to it and you already have it. However, if you want to use your red light masks, but you don't want to make your melasma worse, I would recommend applying a plaque, a black plaque. So whether it's plastic, something that's opaque, that's just on the melasma area, 
then apply the mask on top to prevent the red light to, for, from hitting that specific area. So in conclusion, for me, I did actually really enjoy using it, but I would stop using it just because I have melasma and I'm more concerned about my melasma getting worse than my fine lines. There are other treatments that I can do for the fine lines around my mouth area and around my eye area, and I've got whole videos dedicated to it. So for me, this is a no. We're really close to a million subscribers on YouTube. So when you come watch our videos, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell because I am in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every YouTube video so I can answer your questions. And don't forget to download your free guide, The Skin of Color, in the comment section.